Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about introduction to matrices. You can see the agenda here. We will see one by one practically. Before that, we will see a small definition. What is a matrix? A matrix is a rectangular array of numbers arranged in rows and columns. Let me show you an example. Okay, I'm going to represent a matrix with uh, some sample random values 1, 9, 7, 3, 4, 6, 12, 1, something like that. Here, a matrix is represented by the within the square bracket. This is called as row 1 and this is called as row 2. Row 1 means 1, 9, 7, 3. Roto means 4, 6, 12. Same way, this is called as column 1, that is 1 and 4. Then 9 and 6, column 2. Then 7 and 12, column 3. Then 3 and 1, column 4. As per the definition, a matrix is a rectangular array of numbers arranged in rows, comma, column. The notation how to mention the matrix is we have two rows cross four column and this we can say it as by or cross so two cross four matrix are two by four matrix and this is not a multiplication symbol and uh, this full notation we call it as size or dimension or order so it's called as size of a matrix or dimension of a matrix or order of a matrix it can be called in any way and uh, this nine six numbers inside this square bracket right this is called as elements of matrix so matrix is represented by rows and columns and uh, in order to find the size order or dimension you have to look for how many rows and columns totally two rows and uh, four columns First element is always row and second element is always column and this in between symbol we call it as by or cross and one more point if you want to find total elements then you have to multiply the rows into column we know row is having two value column having four value which is equal to eight. So rows into column means 2 into 4, 8. If you count, we will get totally 8 elements. Hope you got how to represent a matrix. This is simple example. Let me convert this example as a notation. It's very easy. A matrix is represented by capital letter. It can be any letter. In this example, I am taking it as A equal to very simple example first element called as a first row first column a first row second column a second row first column a second row second column these are all called as elements you know well and this is m into n m is row n is column we already know this this is called as order or size or dimension this is the notation to represent the matrix now we will see small exercise just a reverse kt we have to identify the order and total elements of a matrix we know order means row cross column how many rows here it is two rows into two columns and total number of elements we have to multiply row into column nothing but four same way here how many rows first row second row column is one two three four into four the order is two cross four and total number of elements is two into four eight and next example how many rows one two three four five five rows columns 1 2 3 4 into 4 columns so the order is 5 cross 4 and uh, total number of elements 5 4 are 
20. If you have understood this sample exercise, then you are ready to go for the next topic. In case if you are not clear, please watch it again. It's a rectangular array and we can call it as dimension, order or size. The numbers which appear inside a matrix is called elements of matrix and it is represented by uppercase letter. Now the next topic is type of matrices. We will see one by one. The first one is row matrix. Row matrix means a equal to whenever you see any matrices like this that is only one row it is called as row matrix only one row don't forget this now tell me what will be the dimension one row four column so this is called as row matrix hope you can guess what you mean by a column matrix yes it's one column b equal to something like this and what is the order it is four row one column you have to remember this value is one when you see matrix like this with single column then it is called as column matrix and third one is rectangular matrix a rectangular matrix means number of rows is not equal to number of columns that is m is not equal to n sample example here how many rows one row two rows two rows into three column here both m is not equal to n when you see a matrix like this it is called as rectangular matrix fourth one square matrix i think you would have guessed it number of rows equal to number of columns that is m equal to n we'll see an example it is two row two column both row and column that is two equal to two one more example so it is three comma three three rows three column the number of rows equal to number of column whenever you see any matrix like this it is called as square matrix and always remember the order of the square matrix is nothing but the first value here the order is 2 here the order is 3 for square matrix alone you can represent it with a single value it's just number of rows is enough and make sure rows equal to column let's do a short recap so the row matrix means only one row Column matrix means only one column. Rectangular matrix means if the number of rows is not equal to number of columns, then square matrix means M equal to N. The remaining types of matrices will be continued in next video. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.